Hey guys, welcome back to the Sensor Pop channel. What we have for you today is uh, we're gonna bring you a deck profile, and this is the deck profile that I brought to my local tourney yesterday, and surprisingly, I came out second. And this is definitely not a meta deck. I don't usually play meta deck, not that I don't like them, but I think there is just a different types of player out there, right? There are some that tries to make things work, so there are some who plays meta, and there are some who are just playing the characters that they like. And I think for me I kind of, I don't know, not that I'm anti-meta, I think meta is good, like apes, I enjoy playing with apes, I enjoy playing with veggies because I love universe, was it universe 6? Yes, I love the universe 6 veggies, like Khalifla, Kale, Kappa, I love them. And uh, definitely will play them, but I was thinking that someone would definitely play veggies in our local tourney. So I decided to bring out one of my favorite engine when it comes to tournament of power fell in love with them and you guessed it make a guess what is it it's the tournament of love <laughs> so it is the lady we bring the maiden squadron engine and with the sun goku leader so let's talk about the leader all right so this is uh when you place one card at the start at the start if you have no energy so there's gonna be only one time right Place one card from your hand into the drop area. If you do that, you get to pick two of your life and you put it uh, two from your life and place them as energy. So you start with two energy right from the bed and six life. So you are very uh, near to self awakening and then you are uh, ahead of your opponent. Four or less, you draw a card and on his flip side, at the end of the battle, take three of your energy, no matter what color it is, switch back to active mode. That's what uh, you can do. So this guy speeds up your whole deck and uh, he also helps you to self-awaken faster and also gives you a lot of a lot of energy just to defend yourself so it's aggressive and defensive fast at the same time so i was using lady Ribrian, the leader at the start to play with universe 2 i really enjoy her mechanics she's so funny she gets to pop a creature and then you get to pick try to draw she helps you to draw your maiden squadron cards but in the end if you want to have any chance in your local tourney to win you know you need to speed up the deck and put any engine in this leader it just speeds it up way faster. Except Universe 11, because most of the big cards need your leader is Universe 11, which he's not. All right, but the good part about Universe 2, the, the Maiden Squadron, is that they do not have such criteria so that this and that engine can be used with other um, leaders. So let's talk about the cards. Let's talk about the Maiden Squadron cards first. Universe 2, one of the best cards when it comes to universe 2 the free blocker because the whole idea why i love them implementing the free blocker is this if you if any universe 2 is in place in your battle area if they are in your battle area you get to play him for free so he is a free blocker even though he is definitely gonna die but at least he's a free blocker it is a planet m2 that he helps you to absorb a planet m2 he helps you to absorb uh he is basically a free negate and he also is a target for you for any of your opponents to pop so the opponent has to think oh should i pop your kakunza should i pop your rosie or should i pop him so <laughs> Yep, because if your opponent is going for game, this is the guy that he wants to pop, right? But then your your Rosie it's also a blocker. So he really helps you to mitigate a pop. He takes up a pop for you. He takes up a negate for you. He is a negate for you. And then he takes up a minus 5k for you if your opponent is playing. But most of the time, if my opponent is playing Planet M2, I play him as energy. So no, there's no minus when it comes to playing him. Definitely play four of him. I am beginning to really like this free blocker mechanics. It's really, really good. So now the Maiden Squadron card, Go Warrior Ribrian. What she does is that she is a barrier. Really great. Only one green and one uh, color of any, any color. So when she she's a searcher, right? So and uh, evolve target. So when you play this card, look up to seven, find a maiden squadron, and add it to your hand. And she stays unless it's Zeno uh, chain attack Zeno. This girl stays on the board always. Advice: Never charge her as energy because she is a searcher, and then she is an evolve target. And if you manage to get two Rebrian out, the big one. 
So it's four cards taken out per turn. So she is always a good evolve target on the field. Unless you said, okay, I have three or four in my hands, understandable. But having two on the field, it's always really, really good. So if you have just two in your hands, never play her, play her as energy. Major Squadron Rosie, and she's a blocker, a 20k blocker. And at the end of your turn, if Rebrianne and Kakunza is in your battle area, switch this card to active mode. So, really good because you get hit with her, and she comes back and she takes the damage from, for you. One of the best cards when it comes to the Major Squadron, critical if Rebrianne and Rosie is in your uh, battle area. This card gains dual attack. So it's a critical dual attack. I will swing it once. If I do not have another maiden, maiden uh, transformation in my hands. But if I have a maiden transformation in my hand. I'll swing it two times for the pressure. You know why? Because she's going to come back in the next round anyway. And then the big mama herself. Major Squadron Leader Ribrian Evolve. So for three costs, you evolve on top of this uh, this lady, Girl Warrior Brienne de Chateau. So what she what she does is that she does two things. She has two autos. The first auto is this: when you evolve, you get to pick one of your opponent's battle card and pop it. So for three costs, you pop something on the field without energy restriction. And her auto is this, when this card attacks, if Kakunza and Rosie is in your battle area, you pick two of your opponent's uh, cards in hands, and then you discard it. So imagine if you have two of them, it's four cards in one turn. So this is not a when you play the card, this is not like Broly, when you play the card. This is basically every single turn when she swings, and she has a barrier. So when she swings, if you have Rosie, Rosie can protect her in the next game. And then you, if you have also uh, Rabba, what Rabanra, the free blocker himself, he he can also helps to prevent it. So she will not be removed from the field just from effects alone. She will stay. So your next turn is how to defend her from getting out of the field. And then the extra card to bring your maidens out so she can pick Kakunza and Rosie so choose up to for four cores you choose up to two of your maiden squadron with energy four or less and place them on the battle area great great card all right so these are the maiden squadron card and just to let you know when you play this card you have to shout maidens because that's what I always do <laughs> it's like the call of maidens that's what <laughs> okay so what happens here is that this guy really needs some 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 re some ways to get self awakened until we go set for and we get the green gohan the critical gohan such a great card Pfft, that card my god we have to play the veggie package so say and teamwork coppers i think everybody knows this search for this and then you get to self awaken and then you get to play uh, Kale, which pops the, pops uh, some things, and it's a critical heater. So why do you play the the veggie package in here? The reason why it's because veggie package syncs really well with um, with what you have on the board and how you play with your energy. I can tell you why later. All right, I will explain how it works. But she they provide a alternative win con for you if your maidens is not working out for some reason if your maiden is not in your hands this guy can win you the game as well i was going against veggie who is playing sugash and so happened that because i'm playing this guy i'm a little bit faster i just comes pop pop comes up pop pop he tries again pop pop so i was just popping him while i was setting up his my board um while I was setting up my board for the Maiden. So when the Maiden calls finish, the Maiden transformation is out. The power of love. He lost the game. So we're going to talk about the extra cards right now. The extra cards, of course, everybody would know. We're going to play four copies of the super combos. We're going to play four copies of the other super combos. Just pay one, which you always have. And then you get to draw a card. Helps you to uh, protect yourself and also your maidens. And we play four copies of the worst uh, negate in my opinion. You can pop Majin Buu, you can pop Gowatsu, you can pop 
Boma, uh, but your best target is you can pop a Kappa if they have it, still have it at that point. At, but usually your cup, their Kappa is gone because you swing with something, the Kappa, they will not block the Kappa. Just in case the Kappa is still there, you can still pop it. Alright. And then uh, two copies of King Vegeta surprise attack. Very important card. I can tell you why. Although I think I use it two times. Twice. Yes, twice. That's all I use it. So, how do you... Now I'm going to talk about how I play... I usually play this this deck, right? So at the start, you have two energy and six life. Your first... With the two energy, most of the time you will hit at least one green. Most of the time you hit two. But just in case you don't hit uh, one green, you uh, in case you don't hit two greens, you're going to hit one. What you want to do is, you can play this. So search for one of the ladies that you are missing in your hands. So now you have, now you use this and you still have six life. And the next turn, your opponent might hit you and bring you down to five. That's when you play this. And this. So this is your second turn. When you have this in your second turn, kind of your set. Because this helps you to go to the veggie route and this helps you to go with the maiden route so and for the next turn if he brings out something nasty on the board that you need to pop for example i was playing against the veggie player who's playing with sugesh right i know that sugesh is gonna come okay i take this two out but if i'm playing against someone who has a card which is bigger so for example six like a cell this lady pops the cell so you do have pretty much a lot of options when it comes to that and uh, of course it depends on the luck of the card draw but this is what you want to set up hopefully you have these two cards in your hands in turn one and you have minimum one green energy bam she comes out second turn bam bam you're awakened especially if you're playing against leaders which says uh when you attack a leader card and uh, when you attack a leader draw a card so this is like the perfect play all right so what you want to do also another trick that i do is that i give them high priority targets to hit when i have king vegetas in my hand so especially when i evolve to this and then the the maidens are not out yet what i will do is i will swing with this so that i bait him to waste a lot of cards because there's two things that they have to do when she, they deal with that. Number one, now this is the only time that you can take her out, right? Because she has barrier. So what they will do is, number one, if they swing with something really small, like a 15k, they need to waste card just to reach 25k or 30k because they want to save this, uh, they want to take this card out. What you do is, do this. And then they will be wasting card. All you do is you waste one card. You take out. You just use one card. You take one of their smaller targets out and a couple of combo cards. They, so they are wasting a lot of cards. Which when your maiden call comes out, this lady you get more chance to pull more cards and reduce their hand size even more, right? So you give them high priority targets for them to take out. And if you swing this. And if they have a big target, so for example, they have some cards like that and they will say, okay, I'll swing at you instead of your leader, right? Because it's critical. Or they have those big cards that comes in, do this. Usually the big cards are cards that they kind of need for the next round. So they will pop, they will pop this guy. And if they don't, you're still swinging with, with this. So in the end, it is such a great combination when it comes to having her around. And King Vegeta, it's kind of good, especially if you have things like a free blocker and then you have Rosie. Because if they swing with some really high priority targets that they have, like really great, uh, like the, the, boo, the blue boo, if they swing with a cell or something, you can tap, you can tap, and you could just do this. Or you can just do this, just to kill them. Yep. So this is a my 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 setup. I hope you like it. I won second place, and I was going against veggies. I was going against uh, Masayan, and I lost against the critical the PGG setup. So one one guy brought that. I was kind of unlucky because I had like four 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 of the maiden 
squadron, the maiden transformation extra card in my hands, and I did not have the chance to call the maidens. So I hope I hope you have fun, and I hope you have a nice day, and uh, stay tuned for more because I really enjoy it. I'm gonna show you my next setup. Uh, it's gonna be in the next video where I'm using another leader with the maiden cards, and it surprisingly works out really well. So sending you love from universe 2 uh, i hope you enjoy it as much uh, don't don't discard them play with them and they are pretty pretty fun so i enjoy playing them very very much and i hope you too so see you guys next time and ciao